couple of years ago, Tennessee obviously played a game in, in Bristol, being in that neck of the woods here tonight. Would you have any interest, or what would your level of interest be in playing another game in Bristol maybe sometime in the future? I'm certainly not against that. I think we, there's been lots of conversation about uh, – you know, that particular game, that how much people enjoyed it and the uniqueness of it, and it, was a, it turned out to be a great game. And, and uh, so, yeah, I think that's something that certainly could, could be in the future. You were on the front end of that. When that first popped up <laughs> around 1999, 2001, yeah. I know Coach Dickey was always talking about Neyland Stadium and the revenue. Mm -hmm. Now you're sitting in his chair. What was your thoughts on it back then as the coach? I mean, you never really I, talked I was, about uh, it. No, it, well, it never really came to any kind of fruition. There was a lot of talk about it, but – You'd say, okay, let's send the contract and let's see the numbers and see how it might work out. And you know, and finally, after I left, finally they did. You know, so uh, when I was there, it was just more conversation. You know, this was that was a real great event, uh, nationally uh, followed event, uh, national television. You know, so all that. Uh, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't look at that sometime in the future. What was your level of involvement with East Tennessee State? And obviously, you were out of Tennessee then, but. Was that a benefit to you, something that you can apply now? Yeah. And what, what did you do with ETSU? No, that, it gave me my football fix, you know, one. You know, yeah, get, being around uh, coaches and starting a program, you know, that was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed uh, Dr. Sander and Dr. Nolan. They, they were great. I saw the other side of it from an administrative standpoint, and, 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 uh, and that was beneficial to me. I didn't know it was going to be so much, you know, for, for later, but that was beneficial to me. I saw uh, a vision, you know, that Dr. Nolan had and how he followed up and, and, and got it done. And I'm telling you, that was a great scene at that first football game when we played a game in that stadium uh, there. And, uh, I mean, the folks at EKSU should be very proud of, of what Dr. Nolan's done, what the city and, and the area has done. and. Um, couldn't have a better guy than Randy Sanders leading, leading the charge now. And uh, Coach Torbush did a great job getting us started and everything. So I was proud to be a part of that. So what's what's that going to be like for you, your first home football game as since he's yeah. going to be against a program that you kind of helped get yeah. off the ground? Yeah. Uh, you know, I pro I'm just probably be more – concerned about making sure the concession stands are running right and all the, the other stuff that I'll get letters about, I guess, you know, hopefully the, the game will be, uh, will be, you know, good. So, let's see. You were asked to be the coach at ETSU by Randy Sanders, is that correct? Uh, by Randy? By well, Randy. not Randy, listen to me, listen to me. I'm an uh, idiot, I'm yeah, sorry, but, but, by the athletic director. Yeah, Dr. Do, Dr. Sander. Um, Dr. Sander. Yeah, he did, he did uh, early on and uh, you know, that wasn't something I wanted to do, but I was really excited to help them, you know, find the right person and and then help raise the money, you know, for the uh, for the stadium. We're 100 days out from the opener against West Virginia. I think Coach Pruitt was out in Charlotte today. Um, what's kind of the excitement now, 100 days out? Does it feel like it's going to get closer now? Yeah, I was there too, and it did. That's kind of the first time you you start, uh-oh, you know, really it is, it is coming. And, uh Coach Pruitt handles himself well, you know, on his feet and everything. It was a nice luncheon, and but it, it did start the football clock a little bit. Right now, it's been, you know, just building and, and administrative things and, and providing him support every way that you can. But you know, now we get to play a really, really good team, you know, on a national televised station. So. We, we 